Hey guys, Dr. Chernoff here and welcome back to Statistics for the New Social Scientist. So a lot of times in life, people make bold claims about population proportions. You know, they think the proportion of Americans who believe certain things is some number, and they try to get you to believe that too. So using statistics, we can actually test those bold claims. And in this video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use SPS to test bold claims about population proportions. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, so as you can see here, I've got SPSS fired up and ready to go. So as part of this example, we're going to be using the alcohol use survey. So in order to test a bold claim about a population proportion, we're going to click on Analyze, and then we're going to go down to Non-Parametric Tests, One Sample. So there are a lot of different options here. So the first one we need to fix is under this Fields tab. So unfortunately, by default, SPSS is set up to do a test of a one population proportion claim for every single one of your variables. So by default, it's wrong. So you need to fix this, otherwise your results are going to be wrong. So what you'll see here in this box here under test fields is a list of all of your variables. So what we need to do is select all of those variables and then move them over to the other box to the left. So the way you can do this is you can click on one of the variables and then hold down the control key and then click A and that should select everything. And then you can click this left facing arrow. So that moves everything under the fields box. Now we're ready to pick the variable we actually care about. So you can go through this list and find the categorical variable that you're interested in. So, you know, in this situation, maybe I'm interested in racial identity. So I'll go down here to racial identity, click on that variable, and then I'll move it over to the test fields box using this right facing arrow. After that, we're going to click on settings. And what you want to do is click on this radio button next to Customize Tests, and then check the box next to Compare Observed Binary Probability to Hypothesized Binomial Test. And then you'll want to click on this Options box. So whenever you're trying to test a bold claim about a population proportion, you're either going to be in one of two situations. Either the claim is that the true population proportion is 50-50, or it's going to be something else. So something lower or something higher. So if the person in power makes this bold claim that, you know, 50% of all people are a certain way, say, you know, 50% of all people identify as black on campus, then we can just keep the default setting there. So let's just go with it. So we'll say that it's equal to 0.5. We'll then check this box next to Clopper Pearson, and then we'll check this radio button next to the word specify success values. So you want to figure out what the numeric value is for the category you care about and put that into this box. So when it comes to this alcohol use survey, some students identified as black, and numerically we recorded that as a number two. So I'm going to put in the number two. And then I'll click OK. And then there are some other options you can explore. So there's this test options box, and this allows you to adjust the significance level. Here I'm OK with setting it to the industry standard of 0.05. And after that, all we need to do is click on this run button. So here's the output that SPSS is going to give us. You're going to see it's going to give us a lot of tables, but the table we really want to focus on is going to be this table here. It's called this one sample binomial test summary. And this will give us two statistics that we really care about. So one, it's going to give us this standardized test statistic, and then it's also going to give us this asymptotic SIG two-sided test. So by default, we just can't trust SPSS to give us the correct p-value. So, you know, when it comes to SPSS, it tries to be helpful tries to give us the information it needs, but unfortunately, SPSS does not know what your alternative hypothesis is. It's, it doesn't know what you're actually trying to test. You can't trust the default values that it gives us. So what we want to do is we'll go to our handy flowchart. So here we have our flowchart, and you know we have two, two flowcharts when it comes to testing bold claims about population proportions. We have one where the person in power claims that things are 50-50 or 0.5, and then we have the other one where, you know, that's when you think the person in power might make a claim that the true population proportion is something other than 50-50. So maybe it's like 80% or maybe it's like 20%. So for this example, we're doing a 50-50 claim. So we're imagining that the person in power claimed that 50% of all students identify as black. So we'll use this flowchart. So depending on our alternative hypothesis, that's going to dictate which of these paths we go down. So if we think that the person in power is wrong and that it's actually less than what they claim, then we go down this first path. If we think the person in power is wrong, but we really don't know if you know it's actually less than what they said or greater than what they said, 
and we go down the second path. Or if we're in a situation where the person in power makes this bold claim and we think, well, they're wrong and that it's actually a lot greater than what they claimed, then we go down that, down that third path. So here the person in power made this bold claim that 50% of all students on campus identify as black. So maybe we think that's wrong, that maybe the number is a little bit smaller than that. So here we're going to go down this first path. So once we've chosen our path, then we need to think about that standardized test statistic value. So if it's positive, we do one thing. If it's negative, we do something else. So in this situation, the standardized test statistic is negative. So we're going to go down this path. And this tells us that we need to divide the value along the row asymptotic sig by 2. So if we look at this table, again, standardized test statistic was negative. So it says we need to take that 0 0.011 value, that value next to asymptotic sig two-sided test, and divide it by 2 to get our true p-value. Now for the sake of example, I also want to consider the case when the proposed claim about the population proportion is something different than 0.5, because when it's something different, then we have to do something different. So we can go back to analyze, we can go back to non-parametric tests, one sample, I'm going to hit reset just so we can do it all from the beginning. So what we'll do is we'll go back to fields. Remember, by default, SPSS is going to be wrong. All of these variables need to be moved to that left fields box. So click on one of these variables, hit control A, click this left facing arrow. Now you're ready to select a variable that you care about. So think about a categorical variable that's of interest to you. So maybe I'm interested again in the race of students on campus. So I'll click on this categorical variable. What is your racial identity? I'll click this right arrow to move it into the test fields box. We'll then click on settings and we'll then click on choose tests. Click the radio button next to customize test. Check the box next to compare observed binary probability to hypothesized binomial test. Click on the options box. So maybe the person in power makes a bold claim and says that only 10% of all students on campus identify as black. So in this case, we want to change the hypothesized proportion from 0.5, the default, to 0.1, which is 10%. We'll then check the box next to Clopper Pearson exact. We'll then check the radio button next to specify success values. So again, think about the categorical variable you're working on. Think about the value or category you care about. So you might need to go back to your annotated survey to find the number. So in this case, I know the number two correspond, corresponds with the racial identity of black. So here under value, I'm going to type in the number two. I'll then click OK. And again, there are other test options you can explore if you want to. So if you want to change the significance level, you can. But I think sticking with the 0.05 industry standard is good enough. And then we click Run. And again, we're going to get a lot of output from SPSS. Most of it we can ignore. What we really want to focus on is the information in this one sample binomial test summary table. And again, we want that standardized test statistic. We also want, in this case, an asymptotic SIG one-sided test value. So again, we can't trust SPSS. We can't trust the defaults. You know, uh, SPSS tries to be really helpful, but it doesn't know what our alternative hypothesis is. So we can't just use the defaults and assume that they're automatically correct. So in order to correct things, we need to go to our flowchart. So in this case, we're going to scroll down to the situation where the proposed population proportion is something different from, from 0.5. So here we have our flowchart. And in this flowchart, we can see we have three different paths we can go down. So based off my alternative hypothesis, that dictates which of these paths I go down. So if we think that the person in power is wrong and the true population proportion is something less than what they claimed, we go down this first path. If we think the person in power is wrong, but we don't know if they're, the true population proportion is actually less or greater than what they said, then we go down the second path. And finally, if we think the person in power is wrong, but we think the true population proportion is something greater than what they said, then we go down this, this third path. So here the person in power made this bold claim that 10% of all students on campus identify as black. So maybe based off of my understanding, my experience, prior research, I think this number is actually a little bit higher than that. So I'm going to go down this, this third path here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to think about the standardized test statistic and see whether it's positive or negative. So in this situation, the standardized test statistic is the 
nine to eight, and that's a positive number. So in this situation, it's positive, so we're gonna just continue down the path. So uh, when it comes to this path, it says use the default. So the value along the row, asset product sig, one-sided test is correct. So in this case, we can trust the default provided by SPSS. So in this situation, our p-value equals this 0 0.000. Okay, guys, so that's the video. So a lot of times people in power will make bold claims about population proportions. We'll say that, you know, some percentage of Americans or people or students think or believe or, or have experienced something. So whenever people make those claims, you know, we don't have to accept them on face value. We can go out in the world we can collect our own data and we can test those bold claims. So we've done that here in SPSS using this uh, routine to test claims about population proportions. The rest of the assignment is now up to you guys.